Good morning, everyone. Welcome to today's CBS class today. From the previous two three classes, we are doing the first chapter of CBS syllabus, that is introduction of animals. So you all see animals, isn't it? We have seen wild animals also, domestic animals also. Every day we see some animals in our surroundings also, isn't it? So you all know animals. Here, introduction of animals means what we studied in the animals chapter means. So we studied about the animals which are divided on the basis of their basis on their movement, isn't it? So in the first time we studied about the animals divided on the basis of their living places. In this class, so in another chapter of introduction of animals, we learned about the animals divided on the basis of their movement. So we divided animals into five types based on their movement, isn't it? Animals based on their movement. We divide animals into five types based on their movement. So we have those five types of animals based on their movement. We have walking animals. Walking animals. Next. Walking animals then. Flying animals, flying animals, then very good crawling animals, C R A W. You have to learn the spellings of walking, flying, crawling animals. Then, then hopping animals. Very good. Then last one is swimming animals. Okay, so these are the five types of animals we divided based on their movement. How animals move, isn't it? So there are different types of animals are there, and each animal moves in a different way, isn't it? Some animals move by by walk, some animals fly, some animals crawl, some animals hop, some animals swim. So based on their movement, we divided the animals into five types. There are, there are walking animals, flying animals, crawling animals, hopping animals, swimming animals, isn't it? So we have learned what we mean by walking animals. The animals that move on their legs, isn't it? So they are called walking animals. So we are also human beings also walking animals because we walk by our legs, with our, with our legs, isn't it? So examples for walking animals, tiger, lion, Elephant, cow, goat, sheep, horse, buffalo, dog, donkey, camel, all these animals move on their legs, isn't it? So they are called walking animals. How many legs animals have children? Do animals have animals have four legs? We human beings have two legs. Then flying animals means the animals with fly. So like birds and insects are called flying animals. How birds and insects fly with the help of their Wings, isn't it? So we find different types of birds, different colors of birds, different varieties, there are different types of wings of birds are there in this world, isn't it? So all the birds fly with the help of their wings. Even insects also comes under flying animal because insects also fly with the help of their wings. The body of insect is small. Insects have six legs and they have two feelers, pair of feelers, isn't it? So birds, birds are the animal, flying animals. With wings and beaks. So birds have beaks. From their beaks, they eat and pick up the food base and eat. With the help of their wings, they fly. Then crawling animal. Crawling animal means the animals which move crawl on their belly, isn't it? So these crawling animals neither have small legs nor they don't have legs at all. Some crawling animals have small legs. Some crawling animals have doesn't have legs at all. Like example for crawling animal. So snake, snake, earthworm. So these crawling animals don't have legs. They crawl on the ground. Some crawling animals like lizard, tortoise, crocodile, they have small legs. Instead of legs, they will also crawl. Next, hopping animals. The animals which jump or hop are called hopping animals. Like rabbit, frog, kangaroo are called hopping. Even grasshopper, hopper, isn't it? Then swimming animals. Swimming animals means the animals which 
which live in water and swim. Isn't it? The animals which live in water, they will swim. So they are called swimming animals like fish, dolphin, shark, whale, starfish, jellyfish. There are so many types of fishes. Fish. Is that there? So they are all swimming animals. Next, we learn about insects. Isn't it? You all know. The body of insects is small. Insects have six legs. Then, insects have a pair of feelers. What you find in the, the head of the insect that is called two feelers, we call it. Okay. So, all these things we studied in the previous class and we have done the even textbook activities also. Little bit. Okay. So, today we are going to continue the textbook activity, remaining textbook activities. So, from page number 8, we have to continue. Isn't it? So, in the last class, we have done the textbook activity like we have write the name of these animals given in the picture. Then, we write the names of five birds which we have seen. Then, the animals which are similar to ant, like mosquito, house fly, bed bug. It looks like ant, mosquitoes, isn't it? So, they are similar to ant, which means they are all insects. Then, we write the name of these three insects. Which one? They, what is this? Which insect this is? Cockroach, mosquito, and grasshopper. We write the names. And here we have to write the names of few insects which you have seen. So here we have to write the names of insects which you have seen. There are so many insects like butterfly, cockroach, mosquito, housefly, grasshopper, dragonfly. It's really like this. So many insects need we have to write here. Then we finish this one. So we have matched the insects with their names. Then I told you by using your thumb, you have to draw some pictures of animals and birds. Isn't it? By using your thumb. So by thumb depression, you have to draw this. Okay, have you done this to that? Then see, you can make by the thumb depression, you apply the color, whichever color you want, you apply for your thumb and press it on the paper and then you write the tail, mouth, or eyes, whatever you want. Then this is a snake. Snake is a crawling animal. So even snake and earthworm, both are crawling animals. Then we match the animals with their movement. So for example, this is a bird. How birds move from one place to another place? By flying. Birds flies. Frog hops. Snake crawl. Deer walks. Fish swims. Till here we have finished in the last class. From page number 18 we have to do. Isn't it continue? Please open your textbook children. So I am repeating once again, those who have not taken the textbook, please come past, hurry up and collect the textbook. So I have put the message also in the WhatsApp. Isn't it? Please, those who have not taken the textbook, please come and purchase it as soon as possible, children. Okay. Yes, page number 8. Open your US textbook, page number 8. From here, we have to continue the textbook activities. Huh. Okay, I will read the heading first. Look at the following pictures. Circle the odd one. So here some pictures of some animals, birds are given. So I have to horizontally have to look at the pictures and then we have to circle the odd one out. What do you mean by circle the odd one means? The animals or birds which does not belong to that group. Okay, for example, first one. So first one, we will do. So you have to look at the horizontal. Okay. What is this one? Grasshopper. Then housefly. Mosquito. This is a cow. So, in this group, which animal does not belong to this group, children? So, cow. So, you have to circle for cow because grasshopper, housefly, and the mosquito are insect, but cow is a walking animal. So, that's why you have to circle for cow. It does not belong to the group of insects. Okay, next parrot, rabbit, crane, then peacock. So, which animal does not belong to the group? Rabbit. Because these three are birds, rabbit is a hockey, hoppy animal. Okay. Next. Horse, sheep, crow, buffalo. So, in this group, which animal does not belong to the group? Horse, sheep, crow, buffalo. So, crow bill does not belong. Because these three are animals. So, walking animals. And this bird is, this is a bird and it is a flying animal. Okay, very good. We have to circle for crow. Next. Dog, snake, snake, sorry, earthworm, snake. 
dog snake earthworm snail so which animal does not belong to group very good dog because dog is a walking animal these three are crawling animals very good children next write the names of animals you have seen flying animals so see here they have given here i have told you write the names of animals you have seen flying which flying animals you have seen any two flying animals you have to write flying animals means birds is it so you have to write the names of two birds flying animals so two flying animals means you have to write any two which two you will write so i will write parrot and sparrow oh you can write whichever animal name you want bird you can write parrot
so you have to match okay d where is d shadow here it is then cat yes like that you have to match the animals with their shadows by drawing a line next write the names of animals in the box given below color the pictures color the animals that walk with brown birds with yellow crawling animals with blue insects with red see it here. first you have to write the names of this animals and birds so what is which bird this is crane you have to write the name of this particular bird in, in the space given then buffalo earthworm house fly woodpecker snake goat then butterfly isn't it so you have to write the name of animals given the space then later on you have to color the animals so they have given for which animals which color you have to put example here walking animals so out of these four animals which animals walk to the buffalo walk so for walking animal you have to put brown so they have done color brown okay don't take this one so for walking animal you have to put brown color so for buffalo you have to put brown for birds yellow color so out of this which one is bird this so bird you have to put yellow color for birds yellow color walking animal brown then crawling animal which is crawling animal here this earthworm crawling animal you have to put blue color only for crawling animal blue birds yellow walking animal brown and insects insect with red okay so keep it in your mind for walking animal you have to put brown color only for birds you have to put yellow color for insects you have to put red color and for crawling animal you have to put yellow color so blue color okay don't get confused here is they have given the colors next what is this woodpecker bird which color you have to put yellow color then snake is a crawling animal crawling animal means which color have to put blue color so they have done wrong don't take this one so crawling animal you have to put blue color then goat is a walking animal walking animal means which color you have to put brown color then insects with red color butterfly is an insect so you have to put red color okay next See, yes, some animals are given here in the picture page number twelve. So they are playing around musical chain like. So they are rounding around the dining table. So so many animals are given here. So they are circling, standing out of the dining table. See, yes, snake, then one bird, then the lion, giraffe, elephant, cat, horse. buffalo snake housefly parrot so they are all sitting in a dining table together isn't it so in the table they have given different types of food so all the animals sitting around the dining table so in this here also they have given some animals pictures crocodile frog fish is it they are given hardy in any song also here so i will read that one so you repeat with me ನಡೆಯುವ ತೆವಲುವ ಪ್ರಾಣಿಗಳೇ ಬನ್ನಿರಿ ನಿಮ್ಮಯ ಔತನಕ್ಕೆ ಹಾರುವ ಈಜುವ ಪ್ರಾಣಿಗಳೇ ಸೇರಿರಿ ಮೋಜಿನ ಕೂಟಕ್ಕೆ ಆಡುತ ನಲಿಯುತ ಎಲ್ಲರೂ ಸೇರುವ ಬೆಳದಿಂಗಳ ಊಟಕ್ಕೆ ಇಟ್ಸ್ ವೆರಿ ನೈಸ್ ಲೈಕ್ ಸೊ ಓಲ್ ದ ಅನಿಮಲ್ಸ್ ಆರ್ ಸಿಟಿಂಗ್ ಕೇರ್ ಅರೌಂಡ್ ದ ಚೇಬಲ್ not only walking animal like walking animal also they crawling animal also they swimming birds everything every each and every animals are there here in this isn't it so they are calling the animals for dinner so by with this by see nadayuva tevaluva pranigali banniri nimmaya hautanake aaruva ijuva pranigale seriri mojina kootakke aaduga nalita ellaru save ಸೇರುವ ಬೆಳದಿಂಗಳ ಊಟಕ್ಕೆ ಸೊ ಅಂಡರ್ ಫುಲ್ ಮೂನ್ ಡೇ ದೇ ಆರ್ ಸಿಟಿಂಗ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಹ್ಯಾವಿಂಗ್ ಅ ಫುಡ್ ಸೊ ಆಲ್ ಟೈಪ್ಸ್ ವಾಕಿಂಗ್ ಅನಿಮಲ್ಸ್ ಕ್ರಾಲಿಂಗ್ ಅನಿಮಲ್ಸ್ ಸ್ವಿಮ್ಮಿಂಗ್ ಅನಿಮಲ್ಸ್ ಫ್ಲೈಂಗ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಓಲ್ ಅನಿಮಲ್ಸ್ ಆರ್ ಲಿವಿಂಗ್ ಟುಗೆದರ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಹ್ಯಾವಿಂಗ್ ಅ ಡಿನರ್ ಆರ್ ಸೇಂಗ್ ಅರೌಂಡ್ ದೇ ಆರ್ ಸಿಟಿಂ
dinner together okay so this is about your first chapter of second side is syllabus that is introduction of animals so i have finished the first chapter of your previous that is introduction of animals so once again i am repeating and recalling what we studied under this chapter we studied about animals be divided based on their movement like five types of animals are there animals are divided into five types based on their movement that is walking animal flying animal crawling animal hopping animal swimming animals so detailed in detail we learn all the types of animals isn't it then we learn about insects birds from every types of animals we have learned okay children so this is today i have finished finished the first chapter of you that is introduction of animals chapter finished then i will send you the notes you know how to write your notes you have to write your notes in four line book okay 200 pages four line book so this is about today's class i have finished the chapter so what we have to do after watching this video you have to complete your textbook activity so afterwards i will send the notes you have to write it you need to you know capital letters should touch the right line small letter with the blue line like that only you have to write you need to okay children so if you have any doubts you can call it see in the next class with new lesson till then take care bye be safe stay home